Good looking wands are essential to make your wizard look good. And today we're going to be taking a look at 10 of my favorite wands in Wizard 101 and where to get them from. Also stay tuned till the end of the video, I've got something important to announce. Starting off with number 1, the Umbra Blade. This is a beautiful looking wand, definitely one of my favorite. Sadly, you cannot get them as code wands anymore. There is still a way to get them through Zafaria Fishing. It's extremely rare and hard, so make sure to try to get it during zero energy fishing to boost your odds and have more time fishing. Alright, for number two, we've got the Blue Raptor. This is the same story as the Umbra Blade. It was a code wand back in the day, and you cannot get them anymore, except from Zafaria Fishing. So make sure, zero energy fishing, go to the Elfin Graveyard in Zafaria and start fishing for code wands. Alright, for number 3, we got the Shock Blade of the Hoarder. An amazing wand that looks just like the Bolt Blade, but the Shock Blade is easier to get. It drops from the Collector in the Drake Hatchery, which is a fairly easy fight to do, and I would recommend doing it. I've seen players that quest through Dragonspire get it on their first few tries, so I would say go for it, it's a beautiful looking wand. Alright, for number 4 we got the Red Winds Viridian Blade, an extremely cool looking life wand that would add so much cool points to your life wizard. This also draws from Velisca Redwind in the Drake Hatchery in the Secure House. A fairly easy fight to do too, so I would recommend just going for it. Alright, for number 5 we got the Avalanchers Legendary Cutlass, another extraordinarily looking wand. It looks tough, it looks cool, you throw it on any wizard and it makes him look 10 times more tough, guaranteed. This is dropped by Avalanche in the Drake Hatchery in Skyhorn Tower. Make sure to go farm for that too. Alright, for number 6 we got Tamagawa's Onyx Blade. It's a death blade that has spirits that fly out of it as particles. You can get this by farming Tamagawa the Evil in the Ancient Burial Grounds in Mushu. It's an amazing looking wand, make sure to get it for your death. It's, it's just a must have wand for death wizards. Alright, for number 7, Kamamer... 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 Commemoration. The Commemoration Staff. This is a wand that has the whole spiral on it. One of the coolest looking wands out there. The only problem is that it's stuck behind a paywall which you have to get the Decaversary Horde Pack to get it. Alright, for number 8 we've got Heart of the Darkness. This is a really spooky looking wand that adds fear to all your enemies if you have it on. This would look great on any death wither, and it can be crafted for relatively good reagents. The recipe vendor is Azila, the arms master in the Sardonyx Market in Chrysalis. Definitely try to go craft this one, it looks amazing. Alright, for number 9 we've got the Tarox Legendary Frost Tome. This is an incredible looking book wand for ice wizards that can be crafted from Ignis Ferric in the Arcanum. This is a beautiful wand, if you're an ice wizard then I would definitely go craft it right now, it's beautiful. Alright and at number 10 we've got all the Halloween moon staffs. They are hands down some of the best looking wands in the game. Stylish, spooky, awesome looking, adds a huge glow to the moon and the detail on it is just beautiful. The sad part is that you can only get them through the Gloomthorn Nightmare Pack in the crown shop during Halloween. But if you do have the crowns to spare, I would definitely recommend trying to get this wand for your death wizard. Alright guys, this was my 10 favorite looking wands in Wizard 101. If you guys liked the video, make sure to like and subscribe and let me know down in the comments which was your favorite wand or what is your favorite wand in Wizard 101 in general. Also, before you guys press off the video, I just want to let you guys know that this year I'm working with Extra Life under the King's Isle team to raise money for children hospitals for charity. So make sure if you guys can, donate some to help save a child's life. And if you guys donate $10 through my page, I'm giving out holographic Mr. Demon Axe sticker and a normal looking Mr. Demon Axe sticker and a signed letter from me. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys later. Bye bye.